In an ever-changing world, some things remain the same. And the Steptoe Valley Flyer remains tied to the American West and Nevada's history. Mark! John! <laughs> how are you? I'm great. How are you, sir? Terrific. Welcome to the Nevada Northern Railway. Well, thank you. What a pleasure to be here. This is not a replica. This is the real deal, isn't it? This is the real deal. We've been operating trains here since 1906. This is Mark Bassett, Executive Director of the Nevada Northern Railway National Historic Landmark in Ely. How old is this particular train? This particular car was built in 1882 for the Pullman Company to haul immigrants across the country. And then the Nevada Northern Railway bought it used when it started. And it, it hauled a bunch of people, didn't it? If these walls could talk, we got four and a half million stories here. This car is actually the story of America. The copper mine comes to town. There's only 200 people living here, so they need people. So they send out recruiting notices around the world and they start heading south to Ely to begin their new life in America. The steam-powered Steptoe Valley Flyer ran from 1906 to 1941, carrying over 4.5 million passengers from Ely to White Pine County. Today, it still departs from the original depot. Now, Mark, I look over your shoulder and I see the word women. I don't see the word men. Well, that's because, John, we're in the women's and children's section of the car, the beautiful red velvet seats here. This is where the women and children rode. The men rode in the other section. I think I know why. I see a sign that says no smoking. I see where you're going with this. Can we go check it out? Absolutely. Oh, no, wait a minute. This looks different in here. Yes, this is the men's section. And here is the hint. There's a striker plate. You got the smoke in here. You got the smoke in here, the leather seats. And uh, this was just the way to ride. This train served meals, carried a luggage car, and operated a U.S. post office that occasionally still delivers mail. Hey! There she is! That's it? That is it. That is Locomotive 40, the official state locomotive of the great state of Nevada. It's a great place to take kids. It's a great place to take kids, and we got a big one right here. Let's go. Let's go down there. Wow. She's awesome. She is, she is just grand, just grand. She was delivered here in July of 1910, and she's still doing today what her designers and builders intended over a century ago. She's still hauling trains. And that's, that's full of coal? That's full of coal and water. And because the coal is for the fire, we need the water for the steam. You can see the steam leaking out in places. Without that steam, we don't go anywhere. Now, how much does she weigh? She weighs about 60 tons. She's kind of a light locomotive, but I think she's one of the most beautiful locomotives left on the planet. There is no doubt. There is no doubt. Now, there is one thing different about this scene, right? Mm -hmm. What is it? Well, actually, we're lost in time. That's 19th century technology. The locomotive was delivered in the 20th century. And for the 21st century, we have a woman fireman. So pick a century. <laughs> that is Angie. And she is a qualified fireman and engineer, but she got the firing straw today. You belong <laughs> up there. You look good. <laughs> this is incredible. This oh, is yes. incredible. Is that the, that's the coal right up there. That's the coal right up there. And that's our next stop. Let's go up. This iron horse runs the same as it did in its heyday. It still requires water and coal to generate power. This is so awesome. This is great. So here's the coal. There's is this the also coal. where the water is as well? The correct. correct. All right. We got 6,000 gallons of water and about eight tons of coal. All right. And then this is how we get the coal into there. All right, so, so can I do it? Yep, go ahead, grab some coal. How hot is that? Um, you don't want to know yet. All right. How's that All look? Right. Good? That's good. All right. Step on that pedal there. Right here? Yep. And throw it in. Awesome. Woohoo! That feels good. I've I'm been working on a railroad, baby. Yep. In the early 1900s, the demand for copper used in electric and telephone wiring gave birth to the mining industry in Ely, which needed a train to haul the ore. The railroad was not laid down by Chinese immigrants. No, it was built by Italian and Irish immigrants. How many miles of track are there here? 
The entire railroad is about 160 miles of track, and we operate on 30 miles of track. Our long-term plan is to open it up for the copper mine again and haul copper concentrate out. Now that's cool. Now you're really going old school. What is it you love about this? Everything. This goes to a time in our country when there was a can-do-ism. We built this across the entire country. You know, they overcame all odds. When the railroad came to town here, there's only 200 people living here. They're gonna build a copper mine, a mill, and a smelter. It was just utterly phenomenal, and they did it! While it may seem fun, driving the trains could be strenuous and sometimes dangerous. What I find fascinating is that these jobs were more than just sitting in a chair, pulling levers and just kind of looking at dials. This gets very hot. Anything here is around 350 degrees. So you can imagine pulling into Las Vegas in the middle of the summer, how hot that would be. And this thing is like a bomb. If you go off the track, you hit a herd of deer. So it's very dangerous as well. I'm about to see it for myself on the driver's seat. Henry Stewart is my teacher for the day. <laughs> Let the world know you're coming. All right, all right. All right, you got to do it again? Yeah. yeah. How many? Two. Two. There you go. It's time to get underway. Look at how you're going. Hey, we're moving. I don't even have a seatbelt. Soon we're up to speed, 15 miles per hour. Not only does it feel like I'm driving a dinosaur, but I'm looking out at the countryside. I even got an armrest. It's the coolest thing ever. The Steptoe Valley Flyer slows down to a complete stop and soon is back in Henry's capable hands. For over a hundred years, this train has been in operation. And over its long career, it's moved everything from people to mail to furniture to animals. And it's still operating today and keeping people happy. <laughs> 